and what's up youtube bro rider here again and like i said in my last video i'm gonna talk about the mic setup that i'm using and surprisingly how it's pretty much free for most people and how easy it is to set up route through your helmet and i guarantee you it is better than any mic that you have or that you will buy in terms of the use, the ease of installment, the cost pretty much free. Let's roll some B-roll. say is the mic I am referring to is literally the old Apple iPhone headphones you know the ones that came in the box that they used to give you back in the day the ones that had the headphone jack on them yeah the one that they don't give you anymore <laughs> but luckily for me I have about like four different pairs of them and literally it's the best moto vlog mic that you can have and for most people it's free because i'm pretty sure if you're like me whoa dude some crazy drivers in my neighborhood but i'm pretty sure if you're like me you got a bunch of these laying around in a drawer somewhere collecting dust you know probably all knotted up and you probably don't even use them and literally all you need to do is take it cut off the uh, other side where the microphone isn't you could just cut that part off and then cut the other side from the headphone to where the top of the pill of the mic is and just cut that part off there and what I ended up doing is I just put a little piece of electrical tape around the edge there um, and don't worry the mic still works even though you're cutting off the headphones and the cool thing is is it's a little tiny pill and that thing tucks perfectly behind your cheek pad in your helmet. Now, you probably saw my last video where I talked about the fairing, the road war fairing that you're looking at right now. And the audio in it was a little choppy. And in post-production, I had to, you know, edit out some of the wind noise. And uh, it was kind of peaking in my voice a little. And I think it's because I took that pill, the pill microphone, and I had it too high up in my cheek pad. So it was a little bit exposed to the wind more. But what I ended up doing, and I'll, I'll show you in some B-roll, is I tucked it into the cheek pad more and I taped each side of it. Now, what you don't do is put that piece of tape over the whole pill of the mic. You don't want it covering the whole thing reason being is it'll then muffle up your audio um so just tape you know before it and after it and leave it exposed and leave the exposed part inside your cheek pad flat against the wall of your helmet so it's squished between the wall of your helmet and the cheek pad and that acts as the most perfect wind buffer uh for your helmet and the microphone now I know a lot of motor vloggers use the purple panda mic. I did end up buying the purple panda mic, routing it through my helmet, using the dead cat, using the foam windscreen, tucking it in my cheek pad, moving it around, using a chin curtain, doing all kinds of stuff to try to eliminate the noise. Now, mind you, I have a chin curtain on this helmet. I also have a pretty big beard, so that acts like a wind buffer. And no matter what I did, the it just picked up all the wind noise in my helmet and it made the audio totally unusable now for people that have a better maybe a better helmet i technically have um it's the harley boom helmet and i i believe it's made by senna um because it looks very similar to theirs it just has some harley you know 
uh, bandages on it or Harley, you know, logos. And maybe I have a noisy helmet, I don't know, but this mic setup that I have, oh sure, just go, go on, go ahead, it's okay. <laughs> but this, this setup that I have is perfect for my moto vlogging and, and the needs that I have and making the audio sound good and not annoying and not choppy and not peaking. Um, now I'll have a little bit of wind noise in there, but the cool thing about that is you can edit it out in post-production. Um, you don't want to edit it out too much because then you're taken away from the exhaust notes and just the thrill of riding. And the whole point of me moto vlogging is for you, the viewer, to feel like you're on the bike with me and hear the sounds that I hear. So hearing the wind noise is completely normal. When you're on a bike, you're hearing wind noise. You're hearing it in your helmet. So I want to keep that experience as authentic as possible because I feel like that's what engages you, the viewer. And I could be wrong. Maybe the wind noise is annoying. Leave a comment below and be like, bro, it's annoying. Edit it out. <laughs> I probably won't. <laughs> but yeah, this is the best, cheapest. For me, it was absolutely free mic setup for moto vlogging with most people probably having the parts to make it sitting in a drawer somewhere or you could find it pretty easily you could probably ask a friend for those old headphones now when i say the old headphones i mean the ones that actually have the headphone jack the ones that have the lightning connector no bueno because it won't work unless you have the adapter piece i guess but then you're hooking up an adapter to an adapter the other thing needed to make this work, and I'll show you in the B-roll, is there is an adapter that goes into the media mod for the GoPro. That adapter is what makes it work. If you don't have it, it's not going to work. Now, I know Rode makes one, and I'll put a link below. Um, I also have this piece from the Purple Panda mic that was able to be used as the you know converter to put the apple headphone mic into the media mod adapter so it works good for me and like i said easy cheap solution if any of you have been a part of my channel for a while you've probably seen i've already made a video like this but it was on my sportster s uh, even with the mic back then i still had some crackling and stuff like that where you get that fixed is literally the placement inside your helmet. Where you place that mic inside your helmet is pivotal onto how it peaks, how it catches sound. So you have to do a lot of trial and error to get it in a good spot. But I hope this video was helpful. If you guys could please like and subscribe. We're trying to get our subscriber count up. I think the next video, what I'll end up doing is doing my helmet moto vlog walkthrough of everything I have on here. Um, down to the arms and swivel head that I'm using for this motorcycle and my GoPro and helmet. Um, a lot of moto vloggers do have their setup posted and how they do it. Um, mine's actually, if you look at blockheads, is very similar to his, but I did some minor modification to what his setup is, um, which gives you a little bit of playability on angles should you not mount the sticky part you know correctly so that's the gopro swivel head um my next video i'll talk about my whole setup so if you guys can please like and subscribe leave a comment i love interacting with everyone this community has been so awesome we have been growing i want to continue to grow and keep making content and doing at least one video a week that's my hope and I know that's the way to get people to be engaged and do some content. So you guys ride safe. Keep two wheels up. See you next time.